Hi everyone, welcome back to our new session of the UI path. So in this session, I will explain about UI path RPA developer advanced level certification questions answers. So this is my set three for those who want to learn more questions. Please watch my previous session that will include set one and set two, which contains more than 60 questions on that tutorial for those who want to learn each and every questions and get certified by RPA developer advanced level certifications please watch all the three set all the three lessons on this topic and most important announcement regarding this please use this session for your learning perspective not at the time of examination because certificate will not help you to get a good job in any organizations it will basically it is created for your learning perspective to get to know which type which type of questions will be appeared or will be asked at the time of examination when you are preparing for the rpa developer advanced level certifications so let's begin with the question and answer of this for those who are looking for this ppt Please drop your email ID in the comment section. I will send it to your email ID. So first question on set three is where can you see the variables value when we execute workflow in the UI path? Answer the local panel or local span. What can you use to make sure that the execution continues even if an activity fails in UI path? the try and catch block activity what happens if we use the excel read range activity to read the dot xlx file that is already open in ui path this will read the document successfully what is the way to optimize accuracy when scraping with ocr a region that contains only digits use google ocr with numbers only will help you to get or display the accurate data which property is used to make sure that the workflow contains even if an activity fails in ui path continue on error property will help you or is the answer of this questions what is the way to enable the clipping region selection mode when screen stripping in ui path by pressing f3 which activity can be used to modify the value of an existing cell in data table in ui path answer assign activity how does the anchor base activity work so the answer of this question is three or you have to select three answers available out of four if searches for an ui element at a fixed anchor position second it searches for an ui element using a relative coordinate positions third it searches for an ui element by using another ui element anchor where should you store the environment setting that are prone to changes answer in orchestrator as assets and the answer inside config file dot xml dot json and dot xlx file etc next question in which workflow in the UI path robotic enterprise framework template is the transaction number global variable incremented by default answer set transaction status workflow where can you trigger an unattended robot from a select all the options that apply answer the UI path robot icon in the system tray remotely from orchestrator what is the best way of restricting the access of a person to a limited number of pages in orchestrator by creating a different accounts and role for that person when creating a new role restriction can be applied just like if i have created any orchestrator account and provided the administrator login so that login or role should be used for managing your orchestrator account so administrator will do anything whatever they want to do with that login if 
I am creating an orchestrator account having training or view options. So that account should view that. He will not change anything. Which of the following SQL statement can be executed by using the activity called execute non-query? Answer insert, update and delete. In the UiPath robotic enterprise framework template, if the system error is encountered in the process transaction state of the main workflow, which trait is executed next in it is the answer. The string dot format input equal to 0 and output equal to 0, 1 to expression returns the following input equal to 1 and output equal to 1 is the answer. Is it possible to write to a text file without using the write text file activity? Yes, by using the invoke method activity and the second with the invoke powershell activity. Which emails are deleted if you use get IMAP mail message with the delete message property set to true? Answer the ones in the list that are retrieved by the get IMAP mail message activity. What is the robot able to do when the full text scraping method is used? Answer get hidden information, get editable text and the third is get the entire visible text. If a large item collection is processed using for each which activity enables you to efficiently exit the loop after a specific moment? Answer the break activity is the most suitable for each. How should exception be handled? Select all the options that apply. Answer the using try catch activity inside of the workflow for unexpected application exceptions and the second by validating data using conditional block for business exception. Which of the following are considered best practices? Start your new sequence with a short annotation mean to explain the purpose of the workflow Think about the exception that might occur during the execution of the process. What happens if you try to end the execution of a job by clicking the kill or terminate buttons in UiPath Orchestrator? Answer: Execution process is killed. Second is job state is changed to cancel or stop. Even no sh should stop activities was used. What type of assets can be stored in Orchestrator? Answer. Boolean string integer credentials will be stored in orchestrator. In the UiPath robotic enterprise framework template, in the main workflow, the state machine includes the following states init state, get transaction data state, process transaction state, and end process state. For those who want to learn each and every thing in detail, please watch my robotic enterprise framework session how can you retrieve the value stored in q item variable use specific contain property in which workflow in the ui path robotic enterprise framework template is the, the retry mechanism implemented the set transaction status workflow while automating an installation wizard a pop-up window may or may not appear that can be used to close the window without stopping the workflow answer use a click activity inside try catch activity use click activity with the continue on error property set to true next question is it possible to reprocess a transactions in a queue after its failure due to any application exceptions yes if the auto retry property of the queue is enabled then the second answer is yes, it can be retrieved manually on the transactions page. Next, when requesting a work item from orchestrator queue using the get transaction item activity, you need to specify the following the name of the queue and number of items to be retrieved. What happens if the result of a transaction is not set? Answer the status is in progress for 24 hours and then it switched to abandon. Consider three generic value variables var1 with default value of three apples, var2 
with the default value of 5 mangoes and the result which is the out of an of an assigned activity with the variable 1 plus 2 expressions what is the value of their isolating variables 3 apple 5 mangoes will be the output what robot state is displayed on the robot page while a job is being executed answer pending this is all about the robotic or UI path RPA advanced level developer certification question and answer. Hope you understand it. If you have any queries or comment, please comment in the comment box so that I will check and reward you the resolution. And as I said in the beginning of this session, please use this session for learning perspective. Don't use at the time of examinations. And most important part, don't forget to like and subscribe the channel for the latest update. Thank you.